Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. If you've ever used a Pro or Enterprise Edition of Microsoft Windows, you probably know those editions come with a handy tool called the Group Policy Editor, or GP Edit for short. In a nutshell, the Group Policy Editor allows you to make hundreds of advanced tweaks to a PC's Windows installation that aren't available via the Control Panel or Settings app. The thing is, GP Edit isn't available in the home version of Windows, just the Pro and Enterprise versions. If you've ever read an article explaining how to make some type of advanced Windows tweak, you were probably presented with two sets of instructions, a short three or four click procedure using the Group Policy Editor, and a second, more detailed set of instructions that included making a change to the Windows registry. And if your PC was running the home edition of Windows, guess what? You had to actually edit the registry in order to complete the tweak. It's much easier and safer using GP Edit to tweak Windows than editing the registry because one little mistake when changing a registry key, registry key can wreak all manner of havoc with your PC's Windows installation. But since GP Edit isn't available in the Home Edition, you're stuck making registry edits, right? Well, not necessarily. There's a nifty open source replacement for GP Edit that adds a group policy editor to any version of Windows including the home versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. It's called Policy Plus, and it's very easy to download and use. The first thing you need to do is visit this website right here, this page. https colon slash slash github.com slash fleeks255 slash policy plus. If you didn't catch that and you can't make it out on the screen, I'll add that uh, URL down in the description of this video. Once you're on this page, you'll see that it says Policy Plus. What you want to do is read everything on this page. It'll explain what this, what this little program does, how it works, what the dangers are, um, any caveats that, that apply, and there are a few. After you read everything and you're ready to give it a try, come down here to the download section. Click Download a Release Build from the Releases page. That will take you to this page containing a couple of recent snapshots. You want to take the most recent one, which as of this date is June 2021. Click that. Now you'll come to the actual download page for this snapshot. Click PolicyPlus.exe and you'll see that it downloaded. Now, if you're using a different version, a different uh, web browser, you might not see this down here. You might have to do a Control J to look at your downloads folder and copy it out from there. But since I'm using Chrome, all I have to do is just take it and drag it over to the desktop. Now you have Policy Plus on your computer. Right-click on it. Click Run as Administrator. Answer yes to the uh, user, user account control dialog. And there it is. Over here on the left you have a you have a little tree. If you click a plus sign, it'll open it up and show you all the different things you can change underneath there. All these are different uh, different settings that you can change. The one, you'll, you'll, the one you'll most usually be using when you're making tweaks that you see in, in articles or on uh, YouTube or whatever will be under System. And as you can see, there are tons of them. And every time you see a plus sign, you click that plus sign, you'll see more options. And when you made the tweaks that you, when you finish making the tweaks that you wanted to make, click File. Click Save Policies, click OK, and then you're ready to exit to Exit Policy Plus. And that's all there is to it. Now you now you have a way to actually uh, edit the policy, the system policies, on the home version of Windows. If you found this tip useful, I would appreciate it if you'd hit like and subscribe. That helps me get the tips out to more people. Thanks a bunch.